Hey everybody. All right, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video at the farm, so here I am. I'm gonna go kind of uh, zigzag across the property. I'm gonna see if I can get pretty much the whole property in this video, so it might be a long one, uh, but I kind of felt like going for a ride, and uh, you know, it's a nice day. I did some brush hogging earlier, so let's go. Got you guys on my helmet here. All right, safety third, like they say. Got my helmet on. All right, clipping it in. Get on my gloves. Obviously, I'm on the uh, Sportsman XP 1000S today. Let's fire up. Let's go to performance mode. All right, here we go. So I'm in the camping area first. I haven't done a whole lot of brushing or uh, brush hugging or mowing over here. We don't hang out over here too much. The tree down is in my way. Things like that. Some sticks. Got to clear that area out. There's our old dual seat outhouse. This bridge needs a little work. I saw it kind of fell apart right there. Got a junk pile. Ducks and chickens up there. We'll go. Uh, I'm going to say hi to them first, and like I said, we'll do some zigzags across the fields. Hey, how's everybody doing over there? You guys good? All the ducks and chickens, they look pretty happy. Foraging and snoozing and looking at me. Oh look, there's one right here. I didn't even see that one. <laughs> Alright, on going up. We got some sunflowers over here. Start clearing out this junk area. Got inside these trailers. Obviously there's still some more to do, but we'll get there. There's a whole lot of junk we need to get rid of. There's the road that I'm going parallel with right now. Turning towards back of the property. Clearly, I didn't come through here with the brush hog. Might do that later. Alright, let's go across the first field. Garden. Too much. When I do, man, she goes. Alright, another private property sign here. This is the first field. I only cut about half of it last time. Here's why I got all these dandelions over here, but not as many on the other side. I've been working on expanding a lot of the trails here for areas to ride and explore. Oh, the dandelions came through, even on the side of the good boat. <laughs> Alright, oh, we'll keep the zigging and the zagging here. Cross the garden again. You can see this row I brush hog. There's a uh, somewhat sad, <laughs> a little bit of a sad sunflower. I just tilled a couple new rows today and you can see we got a bunch, uh, bunch of stuff that was planted and we got some watering systems going and we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Buster, or excavator, hanging out. All right, going. Some of these bridges need repair too, which all of them need repair. All right, there's our orchard. I've been working on that quite a bit. Getting it a little cleared out, make some room for some new trees. There's my wood chipper. There was a grafting experience, experiment that we failed at. Oh, is there, there buds on this tree? I moved this tree. Oh, look at that. It's alive. It's alive. Oh, that's exciting. I moved this tree over the winter and I was worried that it, it wasn't going to survive because it's really late to be, getting, to be getting buds. But man, look at it. It's going awesome. That's exciting. Oh, that's super exciting. All right. That tree is gonna make it. That's gonna be a really nice, I think it's a maple. Um, I realize it's kind of in the middle of a field. 
but I thought it'd be nice to have sort of a hangout spot. All right, now we'll keep with the ziggy zags. Sorry, I had a little, little detour there. That was exciting. Okay, I brush hog this zone a little. And over here was where we had some trespassers not too long ago, unfortunately. They took apart this, uh, they wanted this ladder right here for my, my permanent tree stand. That ladder wasn't there. And they took it apart and they crossed right over here. Um, and they stole a trail cam that I had right out in the open here. I had one right on this tree. So the trail cam was looking that way in that whole area that I just cleared out. Uh, I know I had my tree stand up there. It was a nice, nice little zone, but they wanted to cross that way. I don't know if they came in through there, grabbed the camera and left or what, but anyway, now I left that big ladder right there. So if the testers come back, which hopefully they don't, but if they do, they won't have to ruin my tree stand to you know, keep their little footsies from getting wet or whatever, so. All right, well, let's keep on going with the tour. I put a bunch of um, wildflowers and all, all sorts of stuff. It was all overgrown last year, so I came through here and you know, pretty much chopped it all down with the, the new brush hog, and, but I'm gonna let it grow in the middle a little bit, get some cover, and then plant some, some grasses and flowers and stuff that the deer should like. branch anyway. Okay. So this garden we're not really doing much with. Same thing with all these boxes that we had here because this area floods. I do have my, my dogwoods here. That's little trees of dogwood. And there's a dogwood right there. Right, let's actually go through the orchard. Cherry trees, plum tree, cherry tree. That one's doing pretty well actually. That's good. Yeah, like I said, I cleared out a whole bunch of stuff back here, a bunch of trees that had fallen, and there's still more work to do, but we're getting there. And I know that there's barbed wire over here, so I'm gonna go around it. You can see it coming off of that tree, maybe, in the video, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a barbed wire fence here that fell apart. There's part of it on that, uh, that gate post. Um, I don't want to just drive right across over in that zone because I know that I pulled a lot of it up when I was clearing this area. You can see that um, that kind of mesh material that has barbed wire all entwined in it. There's a bunch of it over there. So staying away from that zone until I have a chance to clean it up. All right, well, that was field number two. This is field number three now. I did some brush hogging here. Let's go. for the 
jump. We'll go over it slowly in this direction. We have learned the hard way. But you can't take this direction real fast. This is our little jump. It's very steep that direction, not, not quite as bad the other way. I used to hate going through over there, so I cut through here. I just didn't like that that zone over that way. It just got so close to the to the edge. You can actually kind of see where the track is and where the cliff is. It was like eight inches apart. And that's just an accident waiting to happen. So we're a little further away from the edge. Obviously, that's the river over there. We're on the back side of the property. over there. Okay. Right now we're going back through the woods and we're going to get spit out in field six. Then we'll run across to field five and then we'll head back. Back to the start. here today with the tractor and I made one new path right through there just for the tractor because this this spot you can see it's a little tight I nicked down here and I nicked over there and I just I don't want to keep doing that I don't want to damage the trees well that tree's dead actually but I don't want to damage my tractor and I don't want to damage that tree so eventually I'll probably just come in and cut that one down and I like I like this path that we had already made all right uh, branches down, no big deal. That's probably my favorite stand that was already here. Uh, I just like this spot. I'm going to clear out a pathway directly in front of it and so I don't have to keep an eye behind me when I'm up there. In the fall. Right. Oh, this is really cool. So while I was up there, take a look at this. While I was on that stand, I was testing my range. And these were 20 yards. I had a, a row of flags that were all 20 yards away. And I shot it, and I actually had shot, I actually hit the, uh, the flag. I don't think it was this exact flag. But I had hit the flag, and when I went to go get the arrow, the tip of the arrow had broken off. So I had no, no tip. But, <clears throat> but today, while I was out here brush hogging, I saw <laughs> the arrowhead right there lodge into this tree how cool is that so uh i don't know if it you know i think that this hole was already here and it just went into it um it's also possible that this is somebody else's broadhead but i feel like the odds of that are so slim only because i mean that was exactly where i shot so fairly certain this was mine i gotta go check to see what color i was using um i can't get it i can't even get it out right now uh, it's, it's jammed in there real good. So I'll get some pliers or something, get out of there. But anyway, I was always concerned driving through here. I thought, oh man, I'm gonna get a flat tire hitting my broadhead. Uh, but <laughs> it seems that will not be an issue as long as I don't run over that little tree. All right, well, let's keep going. area so now this is basically field six the back of field six it's all flooded over there i'm not even gonna bother going through it i could i just don't feel like it it's all yucky all right, so we'll cut out through here i think what we'll do is yeah we'll do a long ride down six here six has the longest straightaway the whole property up oh, some uh some hawks up there some red tail hawks Hopefully my ducks and chickens are okay look there's three of them I wonder what's going on. We got one right there, one right there, one right there. I wonder if they see something over here. Hope they don't want me. Alright, well, little birdies might scare y'all, but let's do this long runway. Here we go, field six runway. I think 
go through this area today, but it should still be fine. drive intentionally. It does make me a little slippery though. Alright, uh, let's go back to that one more time. Okay. Still in field six here. I fit through here. Oh no! My other four-wheeler fits. Does this one fit? Oh yeah, just barely. All right. So that must be exactly 55 and a half inches <laughs> because I'm 55 inches wide. All right. So now we're gonna cross over into field five. Oh geez. Ugh. I really need to build some bridges here. All right. So this is. Kind of like 5B, also known as Guy's Gallery. I didn't feel like brush hugging the whole thing, but I did, uh, I did do the perimeter of it, at least. And I got my little shooting zone cleared out, so we're shooting plays. We don't, we don't have quite as many ticks on us. <laughs> Put a little dirt on it, put those, just kind of wedge them in, we'll see. But the problem is when this fills up with water, I mean, it, it, it comes up, you know, almost all the way to the top of the bank. Um, I can't get anything across there, so getting my tractor and everything back there becomes a challenge. All right, so now we are, we just went from field five into field three. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's, you know, some other little trails, other directions that we can go. Um, but for the most part, that is the vast majority of the property anyway. And a quick little, quick little view. Super excited about that tree. Man, that's like such good news. Very excited about that. 20 years, that's gonna be a great spot to hang out right underneath it. A picnic over here at the orchard. All the critters. <laughs> well, you see we've got our automated sprinkler system going, so it seems to be working. I don't think it was on when I started our little tour here. Clearly now it is. A good look at all the things that we've planted so far. And uh, you know what, while we're here, I'll finish the tour by walking through the greenhouse real quick. So I'll shut her down. Turn around, take a good look. That is a fun machine. Super fun machine. All right, watch out for my ugh, my solar panels here. All right, so this is my solar panel setup. We got some beans here. We got, uh, what's that, watermelon. Yeah, a bunch of watermelon in this first zone. It's hot in here, ooh wee. Uh, Watermelon's working its way across. There's some sunflowers that I really need to get out of here. Look how, man, these are like really big. Too big. The roots, I'm sure, are a mess underneath here. All right, don't worry. These are all sunflowers, except that, ah, that's a weed. Um, corn. 
And these were sunflowers. They got a little too hot and dry. All right, I'll show you guys how this is our sprinkler system. I got it in two different zones. I'll show you guys that. I'm gonna test zone two real quick. Even though those sprinklers are on out there, it only take a tiny bit of pressure. It doesn't take away much over here. So we're gonna do manual zone two, to three minutes. Start it and let's go take a look. All right, good. So you can see this one's on, feels nice. Okay, corn's getting good and wet, and yeah, these guys. All right, I think they're actually gonna be okay. Some of these leaves die off. That one, maybe not, but I think that one's gonna be fine. I think that one's gonna be fine. And I even think, I think there's all three of those are gonna be fine. All right, well, it's about six million degrees in here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the tour in our somewhat messy greenhouse. Thanks a lot for riding along. Oh wait, I gotta show you these too. Ah, so many things. So some marigolds. This one fried in the greenhouse. Um, that one I just moved out here. I think that one will be okay. And these are all potatoes. Potato, 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 potato. We're gonna get tons of potatoes in these these couple of buckets. So, all right, that concludes the tour. Uh, thanks a lot. Okay, see ya.